minutes of nonstop news starts now. We start today with breaking news. Two plane crashes in Longmont, a possible midair collision sending two small planes plummeting to the ground seven miles apart. We have team coverage of this tragedy in Longmont. Seven News reporter Mark Stewart on the east side of Longmont where a student pilot and instructor have died. Let's start though with Tyler Lopez closer to the airport where the second plane went down and Tyler, that pilot survived. She did, and only through the actions of her own abilities. She's 72 years old, and her choices for a runway at this point were not very good, Teresa. A lot of hangars in this area, other planes, a lot of people, too. In fact, there was a young man standing right behind that white trailer on the edge of that building. He ended up jumping over the fence to help. He also could have been injured, but didn't even hesitate to get involved to try to help the woman who was in that wrecked plane. He's a City of Longmont employee. I was nervous going up to the plane because I, I honestly didn't think anybody would survive. But when several witnesses got to this mangled single engine airplane, the woman inside was conscious and anxious to move. She was really calm. All she kept saying was she needed to get out of there. She'd hit these power lines as she came down. It looked like just straight into it. Don Poncelo was working on his plane nearby. Obviously, if she'd been a, a couple of degrees off, she would have hit the fuel tank and taken us out. So. I was concerned for all of us. With gas gushing out of the plane, several people ran in to help. Fire department had to crawl inside of the aircraft and disconnect the fuel pump because it continued to pump fuel out of the aircraft even after the crash. So is it possible then that these people helped, helped in a big way? I think they probably saved her life. I got the door open and I managed to rip the door off and pull her out that way. She was safe, taken to an area hospital, hopefully able to tell federal investigators what happened in the air above Longmont. Now, witnesses are telling us they think this was a mid-air collision. When you take a look at the wreckage, it's hard to believe anyone survived, but she did. She is Beverly Cameron. She was taken to a local hospital. In fact, a spokeswoman told me she should leave that hospital very soon, was already in good condition, and should hopefully be able to speak with investigators and try to shed a little more light on what happened when two planes went down today. Live in Longmont, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Some incredibly brave folks. Tyler, thank you so much. We continue now our team coverage with 7 News reporter Mark Stewart, live on the east side of Longmont. Mark. And Teresa, Longmont police are now confirming it was a student and his instructor that were on board the plane. Both died on impact. As we push in, you can see what remains of the, t of the tail and the fuselage. Longmont police are now telling us this aircraft was based at the Rocky Mountain Airport, not too far away in Broomfield. As Tyler Lopez has been reporting, the leading theory is a mid-air collision. The reason being, based off the statements of people who were in this area who saw the plane go down at 11.43 this morning. I heard like a throttle up and I looked up and I saw two planes. I saw the Cessna Skyhawk uh, with part of its wing missing, it looked like, and it spiraled in uh, and crashed. Here's another look at the wreckage of the Cessna 172. What makes this plane unique is the fact that the wing is on top of the fuselage. The FAA is here now. The NTSB will be here tomorrow. We've also learned in the past hour that a flight plan for this particular aircraft from Rocky Mountain Airport was not filed before it took off. As far as the scene here on County Line Road, it will remain closed overnight, likely into the morning. At this point, investigators are not releasing the identities of the two people who were on board this plane. Live in Longmont, Mark Stewart, 7 News. Mark, thank you. And this story has been developing all afternoon long for the very latest developments. Follow us on the DenverChannel.com as well as on our pages on Facebook and Twitter.